We celebrate today this great solemnity of the two apostles, Peter and Paul, and we are reminded today of these two great men, of what makes them different and what makes them the same, what makes them share this day today. What makes them different is many things, that Jesus has called them uniquely. Peter, of course, is preeminent among the original 12 apostles and is our first pope, as we hear in the gospel today of Jesus saying, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church. Paul, not one of the original 12, and in fact a persecutor of Christians, but he has that divine encounter, that divine experience with Christ, which changes his life. And he becomes that great apostle to the Gentiles. And of course, he gives us so much of the New Testament. And Jesus, in calling these men, is well aware of their weaknesses. Peter has denied Jesus three times. Paul, even worse, is a persecutor of Christians. But Jesus knows them, and he has a plan for them, a plan to get his message to spread his church at its very earliest stages throughout the entire world. And so he knows us intimately. He knows our failings. He knows our weaknesses. But he too calls us. He too sends us out to be his messengers so that the world can hear today the name of Christ, that we too may imitate these apostles in their boldness. Because what makes them similar, what makes them the same, is that love for Christ. That fraternity that binds them is that love of Christ to the point of both of them shedding their blood for Christ. And these two great men, these two great pillars of our church on which our church was built, serve to show us how God provides for his church, even at its earliest stages. We hear in the first reading how Peter is rescued from prison. We hear in the psalm, the angel of the Lord will rescue those who fear him. Paul says in the second reading, the Lord will rescue me from every evil. And finally, and perhaps most importantly, Jesus says in the gospel, the gates of hell shall not prevail against my church. Jesus is the God who comes through for us, who provides and protects his church. He is the God who moves heaven and earth to rescue us. Even in the face of death, as Peter and Paul both knew, that even from the clutches of death, they would be called back to God. They would be saved from eternal death. That even in the face of an awful, painful death, they would be saved by their God and by their Savior. And so we too are called to imitate the boldness of these two men, to go out fearlessly to proclaim the name of Jesus out of love for him. For indeed, there is nothing to fear. For Jesus is the God who provides for us, who protects us, who rescues us, and who assures us that even the gates of hell shall not prevail against his church.